Our class is preparation and forming of composites. The lecture will proceed from the following sections. First, I will introduce some basic knowledge on the composite material. The composite material is one of the most active fields in material science. It is a key technology and a new material for national defense and the national economy. For example, in the military material field, polymer-based composite technology, nano composite technology, in situ composite technology has broad prospects in the military field. And in the information material field, the composite materials and the composite technology have broad prospects in optical fiber sensing technology, optical waveguide technology, and intelligent material technology. In the biomedical material field, composite technology is widely used in the early detection of disease, artificial bone, and organ replacement materials. In the energy material field, the composite materials have very important application prospects in the field of photoelectric conversion materials and thermoelectric conversion materials. Organic and inorganic nano composite technology has become the core technology of the key materials for fuel cell. Polymer matrix composites are of great significance in the application of wind energy technology. In the environmental material field, composite materials and the composite technology has a wide application prospect in water treatment, air purification, and the deodorization, and the sterilization, and so on. So what is the composite? The composite is composed of two or more than two kinds of materials, which is a new kind of material prepared by chemical or physical methods. Its performance is better than single material. The composites include reinforcement phase in the particle or fiber morphology and the metric phase, for example, the metals, ceramics, and the polymers matrix. The advantages of the composite is high strength and stiffness, the low weight ratio, and the composite material can be designed in addition to the structure. We all know that the composite material have a very wide application range. For example, the construction and the aerospace industry, train industry, sporting goods, and automotive fields. Mm, this figure shows the development trend of polymer matrix composites. We can see that in the 1970s, the polymer matrix composites were initially commercialized in the military applications. And in the 1975 to 1980, the polymer matrix composites were used in the aerospace fields. And in the 1985, the composites began to use in the sporting goods. And later, uh, in the 1994, the polymer matrix composites, some of them, were used in the uh, were used for the industrial use, and later after the 2002, the polymer matrix composites were rapidly expanded to the new uses. So we can see that the polymer matrix composites were developing from the military applications to the civil applications and the industry volume of the composites were gradually increasing. 
the composite materials can be divided into three categories, namely uh, metal matrix composites, ceramic matrix composites, and polymer matrix composites. Um, this chart uh, demonstrates the commonly used matrix and the reinforcement phase in the metal, ceramic, and the polymer matrix composites. The manufacture costs of the composite materials comes from three aspects. The first one is the material costs. We need to buy the constituent materials like fibers and resin. The second one is the processing costs. We need to embed the fibers into the matrix and uh, this process needs some costs. And the last one is the design costs. We need to reduce the number of parts in a complex assembly by designing the material in combination with the structure. This is an example of the manufacturer course. The materials can be designed in addition to the structure. The reinforcements of the composite materials can be divided into many categories according to their different morphologies. The first one is the fibers. The fibers also have many morphologies. The cross-section of the fibers can be circular, square, and hexagonal. The diameters of the fibers is, are usually larger than 2.54 to 12.7 millimeters. And the fibers can be further divided into chopped fibers and the continuous fibers. The length to diameter radio of the chopped fibers is often higher than 100, while the continuous fiber usually have the much higher length. The second kind of reinforcement is the particulate. Some small particles can impede this location movement in metal, mat in metal composites and uh, strengthens the matrix. For the particles with a size more than one millimeter, the strength of particles involves in load sharing with matrix. Another kind of reinforcement is the flakes in the flat Platelet form. The fingers show some 3D architecture of the reinforcement. The glass is the most widely used fibers for the reinforcements of the composites. It uh, it usually applied in piping, tanks, boats, and spouting goods. The advantages of the glass is their low cost relative to other composites and high corrosion resistance. However, the disadvantages of the glass is the relatively low strength and uh, high elongation and uh, their moderate strength and weight. The glass can be divided into E-glass and S-glass. The E-glass is usually for the electrical use and uh, they are cheaper than S-glass. And S-glass is famous for its high strength. The another widely used fiber is aromat, including Kevlar and Tavarin. They often used as the high performance replacement for glass fiber. Uh, for example, they are usually used in the materials of armor, protective clothing, industrial, and sporting goods. The advantages of the aramid is their high strength and uh, lighter than glass. At the same time, they are more ductile than carbon. The pictures are the real examples of the aramid material. The carbon fibers are the second most widely used fibers. They are often applied in the field of 
aerospace and sporting goods. The advantages of the carbon materials are high stiffness and strength, and their low density and intermediate cost. The carbon fibers possess a combination of excellent properties. Their standard modulus is between the two hundred thousand to two hundred forty gigapascal. Their intermediate modulus is between the two hundred forty to three hundred forty gigapascal, and their high modulus is between the three hundred forty to nine hundred sixty gigapascal. Their diameter is about. Five to eight microns, which are smaller than human hair, the fibers can be grouped into tools or yarns of two to twelve thousand fibers. The carbon fibers vary in strength with processing technologies, and there is a trade-off between strength and the modulus. A typical example of the carbon fiber. With intermediate modulus is polyacrylonitrile. The fiber precursor heated and strengthened to align structure and remove non-carbon material. The high, uh, the carbon fibers with high modulus is often made from petroleum pitch precursors at lower cost. The other fibers include boron materials. They have very high stiffness but high cost. They possess large diameter above two hundred microns, and they also have good compressive strength. The other fiber is polyethylene. Their trade name is the spectral fiber. They also applied. In the textile industries, due to their high strength, extremely lightweight, and low range of temperature usage, there are also ceramic fibers that use it in very high temperature applications. The typical example of the ceramic fiber is silicon carbide fiber. They are used infrequently. This chart demonstrates the material properties, mainly the mechanical properties of the typical fibers. This finger shows the relationship with the specific modulus and the specific strength of some fibers. The typical properties of glass composite in various forms is shown in this table. This section we will talk about the matrix materials of the composite. The functions of the matrix can be classified into four aspects. The first point is. That the matrix material can transmit force between fibers. The second aspect is they can arrest cracks from spreading between fibers, but they don't carry most of the load. The third point is that they can hold fibers in proper orientations. The last point is that the Matrix can protect fibers from environment. The mechanical forces can cause cracks that allow environment to affect fibers. These are the demands on matrix. Firstly, the matrix materials should have interlaminar shear strength, and they should have enough toughness. At the same time. They should have high moisture or environmental resistance, and the temp and the temperature, uh, high temperature properties, and possess low cost. 
the thermosets are an important kind of matrix. They can be cured by chemical reaction, and the chemical reactions are irreversible. The exa the examples of the thermosets are polyester and the、uh, and the、uh, vanillester. They are the most co. They are the most common, uh, thermosets with lower cost and、uh, higher solvent resistance. Another example of the uh thermosets is the epoxy resins. Uh, they have superior performance and、uh, relatively low cost. This chart demonstrates the mechanical properties of the widely used or the most commonly used thermal sets. The thermal plastics is another important matrix material of the composites. They can be formed by heating to high temperature, at which soften occurs, and the、uh, transition process is a reversible reaction. They can be reformed or prepared, but their application temperature is limited in the temperature range to one hundred and fifty degrees Celsius. A typical example of the thermal plastics is polypropylene.、Mm. Mm, they can form the composites with nylon or glass, and they can be injected. And this method is inexpensive. An another is the softened layers of combined fiber and the resin, and placed in the mold. And this method. Will pay higher costs. As for the metal matrix composites, they often used in the environment with higher temperature. For example, the the aluminum with boron or carbon fibers, and the ceramic matrix materials, they often used in the environment with very high temperature. And the fiber is used to add toughness, not necessarily higher in strength and stiffness. There is a very important point that need to be noted: that the composite properties are less than that of the fiber because because of dilution by the matrix and the, the need of arrange fi fibers in different directions.